hello hello everyone atlas here i actually just thought of an entirely new intro right as i'm reading this script my rather large request today we'll be looking at the tanigashima gun mod for kenshi a largely popular mod that much of the community seems to love i've decided to change the video format again so we'll be doing a bit of a better deep dive here and we'll also for this mod at least go through a bit of its real world history as well so let's take a look at the mod, what it adds, how it changes the world of Kenshi, to see why it is so loved by the community. The Tanigashima gun in real life was inspired by matchlock rifles made in India at the time and was brought to Japan from India by a Chinese junk or boat made in China around 1543. The gun gets its name from Lord of the Island at the time, Tanigashima Togitaka. I hope to God I did not just butcher that, who ordered a smith to replicate two matchlock rifles he had actually bought from this vessel. In Kenshi, this brings a rather interesting question of where these guns would have come from, and while the mod itself offers little in the way of lore, let's just say that in this world of Kenshi, the same thing happened, and Tengu had them made and locked away for rebellions. Ah, Tengu, the puppeted master of the United City. Tell you what though, damn he does look good in this picture. We'll cover this mod on another day. In real life, the Tanigashima gun wasn't particularly powerful by today's standards and was used, like many rifles, as hit and run or volley tactics, as you can see from the image on screen. However, during the height of the introduction, they changed the course of the battle wherever they went, allowing early adopters to take and win battles they normally wouldn't have. This is particularly how it's used in Kenshi, but comparing it to the vanilla king of crossbows, the eagle's cross, you can see that a modder took a lot of time to balance how they wanted the gun to feel in the game. With a lower max range, higher skill cap, slower reload, and much greater accuracy deviation, the true benefit of this gun compared to the eagle's cross is its insane shot speed and higher damage meaning that once you pass its peak skill cap, which appears to be around 70, you'll have max accuracy, which of course means that shots are flying left and right, much like a real gun, and when it hits, it hurts. For this section, I wanted to touch on the lore a tiny bit and cover some user reviews as well over the course of the lifespan of the mod, as this is a relatively old mod. If you guys have opinions on the mod, let me know down below by leaving a comment. I'd love to know what others think of the mod, and heck, it may convince more people to grab the mod. Do I think guns work in the world of Kenshi? No. There's very little to tie the world of Kenshi to us in real life, and per Chris, Earth doesn't exist in Kenshi's universe, meaning that life as we know it could be exceptionally different in the game universe. With this fact in mind, there could be any number of reasons explosives and thus guns don't appear in any manner in Kenshi. However, given how this mod is balanced, it's kind of hard to not want to recommend for all players given its simplicity. Given the overall feel of player reviews, they seem to share the sentiment and application for the mod, even if it may not be 100% lore friendly, which is of course the hallmark of a great mod something players want to play even though it technically breaks the world's lore and a bit of the immersion. So now, let's go over some player comments and reviews through the lifespan of the mod. Starting off with Arkeel in 2018, who was a big time modder in the Kenshi scene, even going so far as to have his own hair models put into the game for everyone to play, he gives it a thumb up. Coming in from 2020, the user Alcarin states that they love the feel of the mod and it feels like a total war mod. For the final review in 2023 by the user NMDNR Kaban, goes through a list of things they noticed with the mod which you can pause and read if you would like. For the most part, negative comments seem to revolve around it not sounding like a musket, which at the time, no one had any knowledge of how to change the sounds in Kenshi. That wasn't figured out until Boron took a giant swing at cracking Kenshi wide open. There of course is now a musket sound mod for Kenshi which I will also link below. So of course that leaves us with a big question, where do you get the ammo and the gun and can you craft them? For the first part of that question, players can find ammo relatively common through the crossbow shops with higher level shops like Flats Lagoon, Scrapyard, and Mongrel having higher chances to have the guns in stock. As for crafting parts, yes, you can craft the ammo starting at level 2 upon buying the blueprint from the crossbow shops and the gun starting at level 3 when you research through the crossbow tech normally. 
All in all, if you're a fan or a longtime player of Kenshi, you likely are happy to see this mod recommended and covered. With that said, as always, if you want to support the work I'm doing, you can join my Gilded to stay up to date on Genesis news, Gothic Valhalla news, and other community-driven things I have going on. You can also donate through Ko-Fi, which is also linked down below. Music is, of course, by the amazing Carl Schmidt, and you can find his links below. Please do go support and listen to his music. The mod link and the mod link to the sound mod can be found down below in the description. I'll see you guys this Wednesday as I dive back into standalone because Jesus Christ, the team has been updated. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, I am Atlas and I am out.